The Valve Steam Deck? Forget that noise. The Nintendo Switch OLED model? Who cares? 2021 is all about the Tiger Electronics electronic LCD video game. Straight from the vault, Hasbro Gaming is milking that nostalgia tea to the max here. These are new. These just came out. Released this year, 2021. If you remember, last year, they released a series of these as well. They're just reissues. But what's really going on? Why? Who, whose fault is this? Is it my fault for continually buying these things? What the heck? But yes, okay, this year we, we have a few more. We have today the Spider-Man and the Jurassic Park one. I know of at least one other one, which is the Power Rangers version as well. I didn't receive it, um, but who cares? We're going to be doing a video on these two. Just want to take a quick look at these things. Very, uh, you know, on point as far as like the originals go. These are, you know, old school versions here. Mega Man 2 and Street Fighter 2. They retain the same exact molding, styling. I do notice a few differences though, and I did point out a couple things in my previous video from a long while back. But with these new ones for 2021, I did notice the packaging is slightly different, which I kind of wish they would have done a combination of the previous year and this, because this is how they did last year's reissues, right? A little bubble, you know, plastic bubble shielding the unit here, but the packaging was fairly cheap, but it did its job, right? It, it, it worked. These, I mean, little more sturdy cardboard than this flimsy stuff, but the system itself is not shielded. So if these are in like a Target or wherever, everybody in their grubby mitts could be touching on this thing, scratching up that easily scratchable screen surface there. Like my X-Men one, I have like a, you probably can't see it, but I got like a big gash along there. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but these things, the plastic is very soft. Gets very easily scratched, but they're still, you know, you could still play them, right? So there, there's that. Now let's take a look here. The Jurassic Park one, really liking the colors, very similar, you know, style to the Transformer one, other than it's yellow and red. This is red and purple, but there you go. I, I just, you know, I, I remember having these back in the day. Yes, back in the day. A lot of us had these things. It was like, you know, they were like 10, 15 bucks in the store or whatever back in the 90s. And, you know, your grandparents would buy you this shit when you wanted like whatever the newest Game Boy was. And it, it's like, you may do, you know what I mean? Like, I, I have to really think about the, I don't even care about the packaging now. I just want to get this damn thing out. Uh, but, you, you know, you may do with what you had. Did I enjoy these at the time? Uh, maybe to a certain degree, I, I mean, Sure, but it always left you wanting more. Like I, I've said previously, like playing, like sitting on a toilet, pretending that you're actually playing Street Fighter Two in the arcade, but in reality you're playing this little crappy thing. I, I mean, you had to use your imagination. You really did. We got some zip, like not even zip ties, some kind of like recycled string action here. Come on. I guess I could just un tie this crap. Okay, okay. They're making this kind of difficult on me here. All right, let's just get it out. There, there we go, it is out. The one cool thing, it does show you the year that the, uh, the model was originally released. So 93 for the uh, Jurassic Park one. Is there tape over the back there? I don't know why. The Sp Spooderman one, 1991. Not sure on the uh, Power Rangers one. Eventually, I'll get that one. I don't know if I'm going to uh, do a video on that one, but boom, here's the uh, Jurassic Park one. Now, the differences that I noticed over previous ones, like if you take a look at the uh, Mega Man or even the Street Fighter one, it, it seems like the screen is recessed further down, like a few millimeters, maybe like three to four millimeters. It's down deeper, that actual LCD under this, this cover. They're deeper. They're deeper. Just, I guess, okay. That's one thing to point out. The other thing due to children swallowing batteries, I guess, they do have a screw on there that you have to open up in order to put your batteries in. So let's go ahead and uh, check out Jurassic Park. Has to be better than the um, Gamecom Jurassic Park. Holy crap. At least I hope. I don't remember ever playing this one. 
I did play a bunch of these back in the day, but some of these ones I don't remember. I know they had them. Like, dude, they were releasing new ones of these, like, every two days. A new freaking Tiger Electronics was coming out. And these, I believe they were 15 bucks. I think that's how much these are. Retail, they're currently on Amazon if you want to take a look. All right, we got that out. Let's get our batteries in there. Rechargeables. Okay, it, it's on there. Oh shit, it, it came on. All right, we got, you gotta like really get in close to this thing. So let's change our angle, get some lighting action going on. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's go ahead and see. Half the time I could never figure these games out. Uh, like the Mega Man one I could figure out. This one's actually kind of fun, to be honest with you, but this is not a, they haven't re-released this one. This one's actually kind of cool. But let's go ahead, start. What am I doing? Am I a dinosaur or am I a dude? Oh, we're running. Call. There's a call button, a swing, and a power button. Let's pause. We do have a manual we could look at, find out how to actually play this, which that can come in handy. Uh, tells you the story. Play as two kids, Tim and Lex, through four time stages. You have five lives in each stage. You lose a life whenever you can't avoid an obstacle or a dinosaur. Remember, when you're in danger of being attacked, you can call Dr. Alan Grant for help. Be careful. He can only offer you help up to three times. You win the game if you find the control box, switch on the electronic fence at the end of stage four. Each stage begins with T-Rex moving across screen. He's in search of his dinner and he thinks you smell great. Score points by successfully dodging obstacles. A splitter appears, seeming quite friendly. It will run around you, but when it neck when its neck fans out, it's getting ready to attack. Move left, right, or jump to dodge. So it's giving you little strategies on here. Bunch of little strategies on how to avoid these guys. Cool, cool. All right, let's uh, let's let's forge on. I unpaused it. All right, come on. Get away from me, dino. Oh shit, what was that? Game over. All right, I gotta try again, 150, that's my high score. There goes the T-Rex. Oh, he's like spitting at me? Oh shit. Oh, you press up the jump. Jump, climb, forward, left and right. You, you, you know what, I do have a little bit of nostalgia for stuff like this. This is kind of fun for like two minutes. Then you'll never play it again. Call. Yes, he, he got him. Ah, game over. Okay, well there's that, Jurassic Park. Let's switch to the uh, Spider-Man one. Take a look at that. Swing into action. I wonder what, they put like tape over the uh, description of the game. I noticed that on the other one as well. Spider-Man, how do we play this? We don't care about the story. Fight your way through five stages and 99 floors of web slinging action. Swing in action. Fire your web at enemies. You climb, protect yourself from enemies by using your spider kick. Defeat hob Hobgoblin and rescue the hostages. Okay, climb the walls, search hostages, attack enemies by firing webs, move in through the window when the end indicator lights up, watch out for fire traps. Little tips and tricks. Let's get into it. Here we go. The poor kid's Game Boy, where you only get to play one game. Punch, rescue, kick. Oh my God, there's like so many. 
Uh, oh, I can... Oh, I gotta go that way? I thought I was going up. Kick. Kick. Punch. Yeah, punch his ass. Uh. I didn't save any hostages. Are you a ho I don't even know. Are those hostages or are those enemies? Oh, you're like hitting me with some shit. Yeah, there we go. And now you go to the side scrolling. Okay, so it's like you, you go up and then you go to the left and right. Punch. Punch. Got him. Climb through that window. I'm not really saving anybody because I don't... Oh, we got to dodge these fire... Burn in my balls! You gotta time that. All right, let's punch. Got him, dude. I'm winning this game. Look at this. I, I got scuffs on there already. Got that dude right in the face. Floor thirty, negative three. What does that mean? Okay. Go in. Did I beat the game yet? How come I haven't died? Like, what the hell is going on with this game? I have like this feeling that I'm not like I'm not actually playing this correctly. I guess you just finish it and you save the hostages that way. How many stages does this thing have? Oh, there's 99 floors, so we're like halfway through. But I'm not gonna keep playing this shit. But there you go, Spider-Man. We had Spider-Man. Jurassic Park, the previous set we had a uh, Sonic 3, X-Men, Transformers, oh shit, and The Little Mermaid. Take a look, they're available on Amazon, a lot of times these other ones get clearanced out. Appreciate you guys hanging with me on this weird one. I'm contributing to the problem, I know I am, but you know what, appreciate you guys, peace out, give you a big ass blurry thumb butt like a big foot. Bye bye and boom, bye.